it's been almost eight years since Billy Lord lost her mom, Carrie Fisher, but the grief hasn't subsided. The 32-year-old took to Instagram on Monday, October 21st, with an emotional post in honor of what would have been the late Star Wars actor's 68th birthday. Lord opened up about her mother's intense battle with addiction and how it led to her death in December 2016. My mom would have been 68 today, the Screen Queen star's caption began alongside a throwback photo of Lord and Fisher. Dead person birthdays are weird to say the least. Lord continued, On my mom's birthday every year, I try to celebrate her as much as possible, but today I really wanted to celebrate her with her. Some years my grief makes me feel the warmth of her love, some years it makes me angry, some years I feel numb but today when I woke up I just felt sad. I didn't want to celebrate, I just wanted my mom, she sorrowfully admitted. My sadness body snatched me, so I googled average death age woman. Ooh what a fun Google Billy. I promise the rest of my Google search history has a slightly more fun vibe. And Google said it was 80.2. My mom died when she was 60. 60 is too d young to die, the ticket to paradise actors declared. I then Google drug overdose deaths, another fun morning Google. And it is over 100,000 people per year. Lord, who also posted a picture of her mother's grave to her Instagram story on Monday, said she did everything in my power to help my mom get sober, but Fisher sadly couldn't ever escape her addiction. But while she was alive she always shared the ups and downs of that struggle with others in hopes it would help them escape their own addiction, Lord explained. As an addict, being open about the struggle is the only way through. And same goes for those of us affected by that struggle. Sending my love to anyone out there who has lost someone to drug addiction. You are not alone. Fisher has missed eight birthdays since she died at UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. The When Harry Met Sally Actress spent four days in the intensive care unit before passing. While Fisher's cause of death was listed in the coroner's report as sleep apnea, there was cocaine, methadone and ecstasy in her system at the time she lost her life. Aside from drug use, other factors contributing to Fisher's death included atherosclerosis, which is a buildup of plaque, cholesterol, fatty tissues, calcium and other substances, in the arteries. She was initially brought to the hospital after going into cardiac arrest while on board an LAX-bound flight from London. The coroner was unable to specifically pinpoint how much of an effect the drugs in Fisher's system had on her death, 